So Tray AI has just released an update and finally they have introduced a pro plan. That means we won't have to wait in the long queues to use any of the premium models, something like Claude 4 or Claude Sonnet 3.7 or Gemini 2.5. The most exciting thing about this update is the pricing. So now we can upgrade to pro version just for $3. Well, this is the first month discount, but after that you'll have to pay $10 per month. Still, this is half of the price of Cursor AI, but there is no comparison between Tray AI and Cursor AI because Cursor's agentic functionality is far superior and far better than Tray AI's agent. So I have already upgraded to pro plan and in this video we're going to test that how good this pro plan is. Our main focus is to use Cloud Sonnet 4 and Claude 23.7 and Gemini 2.5. We'll try to build something cool and then we'll test that how Tray will perform using these models. So before we start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. And yeah, this video is not sponsored by Tray AI, but if Tray AI is watching, I'm available to sell my soul. So please contact me. All right, so I have just opened an empty folder and I'm just going to provide this prompt. I want to create a 3D Rubik's Cube simulation using HTML and JavaScript. I have just provided this detailed prompt and I'm going to choose Claude Sonnet 4. I'm not going to provide any other reference, so let Tray decide what sort of interface or front-end design it can create. So let's just press enter and see that how Tray AI's builder actually works. So what I'm actually interested about is looking at the performance and the kind of code, the quality of code that it writes because we are using Claude Sonnet 4 and Claude Sonnet 4 is one of the best AI models out there to write code. So let's just see how it performs and also I want to test the agentic capability of the builder which is like AI agent, the coding agent of Tray AI just like Cascade in Windsurf and Cursor has its own AI agent. So for now it has just like created this and it has just created this index.html file. After that it has just started this server on localhost. Apparently it has just like written the entire code. So this is the one code file that it has created and now it has a started a server as well and now I can simply just test this on localhost. So far speed was fine. Okay so this is what it has created and let's just click on generate a new cube. This is the new cube that it has just created. Let me just click on scramble and now it has scrambled. Perfect. Amazing. Awesome. Okay and now the cube is scrambled. Let's just click on solve and see if it works. No, it's not working. So use the most rotated. Okay, I know that. But upon clicking on solve, okay, fine. All right, that was weird. I just click on scramble, and now it's going to scramble the cube. And then after that, when I click on solve, so now you can see the cube is scrambled. And now when I click on solve, and let's just see how it works. So the solve functionality is not working as expected. So we can ask Tray to create a better simulation upon clicking on the solve button. Please create a better simulation when user clicks on solve button right now it is not working as expected it should be a smooth simulation when user click on solve button so far the speed is fine so we can actually use it as much as we want there is a limit of 600 requests just like cursor cursor has a limit of like 500 requests or tray has a limit of 600 requests so that means these fast requests are not for unlimited use but at least for the first month you can use it for three dollars which is just like crazy so just within few seconds it has just like made these changings inside index.html and now let me just go back and see if it has made any improvements i'll simply just click on reload and generate a new cube after that i'll click on scramble now it has it is going to scramble now i click on solve and this is ridiculous i mean it doesn't make any sense it was not smooth anyways let's just try to create something else maybe let's just try to create a landing page and see that how it performs by the way just for information i created this chrome plugin and i it's it is like right now published you can just go go ahead and download it i created this complete chrome plugin in tray ai before subscribing to the pro plan so that means i have like built this complete chrome plugin published it and now it is live and all of that was done using the free version of Tray AI. I was using the Claude Sonnet 3.5 and DeepSeq version 3 models for coding. So this complete plugin was created by Tray AI, I think within less than one hour. So of course you can create a launchable project using Tray. But for now, let's just create a landing page and see how it performs. So I'm just going to create an empty Next.js project and after that I'll, I'll give it a prompt to create that landing page. Okay, so our empty Next.js project is ready. Now I have just created this prompt to create a landing page for a fitness studio. So let's just copy and paste this prompt in here and let's just add a name for this fitness studio. And now we are going to use Gemini 2.5 Pro and later on we'll use Claude 3.7 and 3.5 as well just to test. 
and for now let's just press enter and see how it performs so far right now right now you can see builder has already started thinking because this is a reasoning model and and it has just generated this plan but i want it to like start building please implement this plan and create a amazing beautiful landing page now let's just switch back to cloud sonnet 4 press enter and see how it performs it's fast it responded immediately which is amazing so right now you can see it is modifying our page.tsx file and then of course updating this layout.tsx file and global.css perfect so let's just wait for it to like finish writing code all right so it has just updated page.tsx file let's just click on accept all and then preview we can simply just preview it inside tray.ai as well so tray.ai can actually open your local host url so you can either do it here or you can simply just open it inside your browser okay so this is looking like very ai kind of uh, landing page but this is kind of clean let me just open it on a browser this is how it is looking like which is not bad i mean this is kind of very ai now this is getting like so common this kind of design but yeah so far that's, that's, that's good it's clean enough it's good enough this hero section could be improved but overall the way it has used all of these emojis all of these different sections looking good so far so yeah i mean it's good enough it's good enough to use the header is working this navigation menu is working Again, we are using Cloud Sonnet 4. Our main goal is to check the performance. So, so far we have used Gemini 2.5, which worked well as well. And then we used Cloud Sonnet 4 to write code. And so far it has worked well. There is no delay. There is no like long queue that it, it used to like create in the free plan. So that means by paying $3, you can actually get access to all of these different like expensive premium models absolutely for free kind of because to be honest, the performance of Builder in Tray AI is not that bad. As I told you that I have already like published one Chrome extension, then I created a mobile app using Tray AI. I'll create actually another video tutorial about that, how you can create a mobile app using Tray AI. So I, I did not create that in Expo. I actually created that in Flutter. So the approach is comparatively different, but I'll create a separate video on that. So yeah, this is how easy and simple it is to use Tray AI, like the pro plan, which is like super cheap. So go ahead and try that. So far, the performance is not that bad. One more thing that I actually noticed, a lot of people actually mentioned in previous videos when I created a video about Tray AI, people did mention that these AI models that Tray is showing in there, that Cloud Sonnet 4, Cloud Sonnet 3.7, 3.5 are not actually those AI models. These are just like cheaper models that Tray is just like labeling them as the premium models well if you think this is the case i can actually create a separate video on this topic that are these models actually like let's suppose cloud sonnet 4 that ray ai is giving us kind of an unlimited access to is this actually cloud sonnet 4 or is this like and cheaper maybe deep sea carbon or something like quen 3 that ray ai is using because those models are comparatively cheaper far cheaper and cloud 4 is far more expensive than any of these other models which are provided there so if you're curious about that just let me know in comment section i can actually create a separate video on that i see you next video Bye -bye.